All right, so we're gonna make uh, pineapple upside down cake with the coconut base for the for the cake. Um, so I've got here is two cups of flour, about a half cup of sugar, um, tablespoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of cinnamon, a half cup of uh, pineapple juice, and a cup and a half of coconut juice or coconut milk, um, and then our pineapple. It's from a can, so it's all sliced up and ready for us to use. Um, and because they didn't have good pineapples for us at uh, City Market here in Steamboat. So, this time, last time we were here they had really good ones. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw our dry stuff in the bowl. Throw two cups of flour, half cup of sugar, tablespoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of cinnamon, and give that a little stir here and try not to throw stuff all over like I did before. Okay, and then throw our pineapple juice. I'm not adding any oil to this because coconut milk has a lot of oil to begin with. It's plenty fatty. And then we'll just stir this up real quick. And this isn't really a recipe, it's just something I thought up today. I was like, well, we use up some stuff and uh, some stuff that we had bought from, uh, from the day we the day we got into town and uh, still had left over. So I figured I'd use up the flour, use up some of this other stuff and uh, make a tree. So, and it doesn't really matter if there's some little lumps left and stuff for for cake or for this kind of cake anyway. I mean, if you're trying to make a super silky, you know, like birthday cake, wedding cake, whatever, something like that, you'd want to deal with it better. But this is almost more of a like a drop biscuit sort of thing. So, got our pan here. I might have made up too much batter there. <laughs> uh, is there like a little muffin pan we can put them in? Yep. Well, we've got actually two pans, we can just make two pans of this. Oops, it's over here. So, that'll work. There. I guess I better not. Well, you can cut them in half. Yep. It's just, I was thinking of doing two layers, but we won't have enough to do two layers. There. I only have one left over. That can be yours. So, we'll take this. Hopefully this will turn out good. It's a little bit, a little bit runny, but we'll see. Tasted it first. Hmm. Um, I think it'll be good. <laughs> okay. So there's that and that.
Okay, we've got our oven preheated to 400 degrees. And go ahead and throw both these in the metal shell. And there we go. So then, probably about a half hour. Again, no, uh, no direct numbers, but should take about a half hour. And uh, we'll check it then and see if it's done. And if it is, well, then we'll. Okay, it's all ready to take out. I think they'll be done. There's one. I have a fork out so we can check this. I didn't have any toothpicks. So, I'm going to stick it in there and ooh, look at that. It's clean. There's a little bit, a little bit of damp on the bottom, but that's probably from the pineapple. So, that's one down. Let's see how this one sets. Yay. So, there's our two cakes. And that took about five minutes to make and uh, half hour to cook. So, there we are. Bye.